A lawmaker in Delaware is under fire after using anti-Asian slurs and sexist language in an email. A number of state leaders want him punished, while several voters are calling for him to step down. NBC 10's Tim Furlong has more. If you look closely... Delaware State Rep. Gerald Brady fought hard to get rid of plastic bags in Delaware. Represent Brady in, in the House. The popular Democrat stood behind the governor just this week as he signed the $15 an hour minimum wage law Brady pushed for. But one of Brady's emails he recently accidentally sent to the wrong person has him in hot water. Discussing a human trafficking study, he uses an anti-Asian slur and some racist, sexist remarks. He wouldn't talk with me on camera today, but in a statement says his words were shameful and embarrassing and that he de humanized an entire culture while making light of a serious human rights crisis. I mean, what he said was horrific and, and completely unacceptable. And he admitted that, and he admitted his m mistake. That's just not acceptable, that kind of language uh, here. And that creates the kind of tension that we're seeing among communities. Some on social media have called for Brady to step down. House leaders have ordered Brady to take sensitivity training and to reach out to local Asian American organizations. And the head of Delaware's Democratic Party. Disgusting, frankly. Uh, we can't stand for that sort of uh, language or behavior in our party. Travis Williams says no apology can really make up for what Brady essentially felt comfortable saying behind closed doors. The state party has no jurisdiction to punish Brady. And they say if Brady doesn't resign, ultimately voters in his district will decide if he still embodies their values. And if they feel that he doesn't, I'm sure they will find someone who does. Today, while signing a bill requiring Delaware police officers to wear body cams, Governor Carney stood shoulder to shoulder with State Senator Darius Brown, a Democrat recently charged with punching a woman in the face in a restaurant. He hasn't had his day in court, but state Democrats say in this case and Brady's reminders that it's hard to tear into another party's character if your own is in question. As a party, we have to do a better job of um, conducting ourselves, frankly, and making sure that you know, when people are electing Democrats, they have a certain expectation of what they're getting, and we need to make sure that we're following through on that uh, promise that we're making voters when we're asking them to support our candidates. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.